Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2023 Toyota Camry and its 9-speaker JBL audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, controls, speaker locations. Then we're going to head out on the road to listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend wearing headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear from the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is the Camry Hybrid, much like the one we reviewed for 2022, although this one is silver. XSE package, very nice combination, although if it were me, I would be getting the LE, or at least I'd swap out the wheels so that I get a little bit more fuel efficiency. Either way, this thing's very nice to drive, has just about all the features you could want on a car like this. So if you do want to see more on this Camry or any of the Camrys we've reviewed before, check the link in the description, put the link to all of our other videos. Now we always do this test with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Still the basic Toyota infotainment display, a little low res, a little low contrast for my taste, but it is effective here in the media screen. We got the now playing, let's go down to sound. You have adjustments for treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those. Below that, you have an adjustment for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and then an automatic sound levelizer, so as you get going faster and there's more ambient noise in the cabin, the aspects of the sound and the music will pick up. I'm going to leave that off to get a more true to recording sound. And that's it for audio adjustments. For audio inputs in the camera, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, a USB-A port, Bluetooth, support for wired, CarPlay, and Android Auto, and that's it. What does that mean you're missing? Well, no, no USB Type-C port, no wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, mind you, there is a USB-C port in here, but it is for charging only. If you want to do data, you got to go up in that USB Type-A. There's also no sort of streaming inputs or 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So not the end of the world, but something you might want to consider if you're cross-shopping this with other vehicles. For audio controls in the camera, you got a volume knob here. It's in good reach of the driver, a little far for the passenger. It's also kind of uh, shallow, so you got to reach your fingers on there just right, and there's no clicks. You also have volume adjustment on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, you can use the right side of the wheel, or you can use these seek and track buttons up here, or the tuner knob, or if you're in the now playing screen, the touch screen. So many options there. I like to have those physical controls. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a nine speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer here, one mid range up front next to a tweeter, two, three, four, five, six on the other side. Then you've got seven door mid-range slash woofer there, eight on the other side, and your ninth speaker is a big JBL subwoofer right there in the deck. Now, some people have asked about rattling in the JBL system, the Camry. I haven't noticed anything, but when we get out on the road and listen to the uh, deep bass tracks, we'll see if we notice some. All right, well, I'm gonna get this stuff put away so we can get out on the road.
cranking up a more complex song like this exposes any weaknesses in a sound system. And what it's telling me in this car, it's not offensive. There's nothing really harsh coming through my ears. The balancing is pretty decent between the tweeter, the mid-range, and more of the woofers. But it's not a really impressive, powerful system either. I'm not getting a driving bass force. I'm not really being moved by the music. I'm just not being offended. So just a little bit above average. For this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see what the system is capable of doing. do too much work. This is a good balance. Not the strongest face in the world, but it's satisfying enough for most people. My thoughts on the nine speaker JBL sound system here in the 23 Toyota Camry. It's a very good example of just an above average sound system. I like what they did with the upper mid ranges and the high end noises. None of the highs are coming through too harsh in my ears. I'm able to turn a lot of different types of music up loudly and, and not have my ears be ringing and, and anything harsh coming through. What it's lacking is more of a mid low moving element to the music and there's not really any good a holistic 360 sound either and there's no center speaker and everything I'm not expecting that it's just uh, compared to every other sound system on the market that's just what it does well and what it doesn't so this is a B pretty solid B system not really gonna be impressing too many people but if you make the upgrade it's gonna be a pretty decent step up from your base system thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you do want to see more on the camera check the links in the description and we'll see you on the next one I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always Drive on.